What is up guys and today I'm back um, I might sound a little different because I'm a little bit sick so I'm back again this is not a Fortnite video I'm sorry because my account got banned until August 6th I can't upload another Fortnite video but I can upload a Photoshop video because my laptop I mean, nothing happened to my laptop so yeah so today I will be showing you some basic color correction for thumbnails or wallpapers, whatever you want to call it. For this tutorial, I took an example. Uh, this battlefield fire image. Uh, sorry, I don't need this background. I'm just gonna delete it. Yeah, I just took this basic battlefield five PS4 4K image. And guess what? From I mean, this already looks good, but I don't like it because I know color correction and I can make it way better. So I will turn this into this. Look at that. I'm gonna show you how to do that today. From this to this. Just look. It's a big difference. I know, I know. Chill chill out. It's it's too hard for you. Chill out. I'll show you how to do this today, alright? Uh, for this, all you need is Photoshop, and you need um, brush tool. And yeah, that's it. So let's get started. So I'm just gonna just disable the CC file. I'm just gonna do it completely from raw. So you have this basic thing, right? You have to don't tell this trick to anyone. Okay, just you have to duplicate this layer. And you have another layer of this, right? So you have to go to adjustments, go to image, adjustment, brightness, and contrast. And you just need to increase the contrast. And now look at that. Look at that. Contrast and stuff. You have to make a new layer on top of this and just pick a color from the background. I like this. Select the brush tool and just make it like 1000. 200 or something and yeah just click out then you have like a big brush like this you select a color from the background and i'll take this blue that's the most clear thing here this blue. yep a little bit like this and just like brush it in the things right, i'm gonna do it like right here right here And just make it on overlay. Actually, just leave it like normal. And just make another new layer on top of that. Then pick out red, as I can see red right here, like right here. And just brush like this. Here, here or something. And like. I'm just gonna reduce the brush size a little bit here, and that's pretty good. Now just no, no, don't put it on overlay yet. Now pick out another color from the background. I see yellow right here. I'm just gonna pick yellow, and I'm just gonna brush like this. 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 Now, actually, sorry guys. I need to, you need to make a new layer. Undo. Undo. You need to make a new layer. Now put it on yellow. Just gonna make it yellow right here, right here, and make a new layer. And now, after you're done with the main colors, now just pick out another color from the background. I'm just gonna make it like this, black, because of the guy's thingy. I don't really know. And yeah, and after that, just make up a new layer. And you're done with the basic main colors, right? Now, actually, I just like there's a little bit of blue black color on top of there. I'm just gonna cover that up, like right there. That's look. That looks pretty dope. That looks pretty dope. <laughs> yep. Now what you're gonna do is after you're done with the basic colors, just pick out white. Oh, wait, where's my brush? Okay. There it is. Now pick out white and just wait. Let me just use my brush a little bit. 
Boom. White. 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 Actually, no, not white there. Or white right, right here. Right here. Right here. And yeah. Now, after you're done with that as well, just pick out like some clothes colors. Like violet. It, that, that it can be mixed. I'll pick violet, like I'll see violet right here. Right here. Mm, like here or something. Actually not. That looks pretty good. Now you guys need all you guys need to do is just select all these layers. All these layers and make them a group. And I'm just gonna name it mm, CC. Oh Okay, and just make it on blend mode overlay. Now, you should end up with something like this. Just reduce opacity a little bit, like 83, 80, something like that. And there you have it, from this to this. It already looks cool, but actually I like, I spent like a lot more time with this one. This was just like a quick tutorial, this down CC one. I just added in some more layers in this. That's why it looks way better. Like my old version of the CC. But the new version looks good. I mean, better than the original one. This is the original one, guys. And this is with CC. Without CC. With CC, without CC. And that's it, guys. It's There's some basic color correction for... Photoshop thumbnails, so you can just use it for thumbnails, whatever, I don't really care. And just like drop a like if you like this color correction tutorial. And I'll see you guys later, and goodbye.